Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you how to paint a um, this whimsical tree. This is a whimsical tree that I did in the springtime. It, um, uh, you always start out with white in the middle and then you go through and put in yellow and then you get a little bit of red to mix with your yellow which comes up with this orange and then you decide on the outside here which way you want to go. I decided to go purple here because I really like this gold swirls on top of the purple and over here I went with the green um, the first one that I did had more teal and had more of this really wild bright green in it this one um, that I did at a paint party um, didn't it, I don't know it mixed up differently which I still love it just the way it is and then I added the purple in there at the end um, anyway so I'm gonna start out with uh, I just I'm gonna draw out a uh, basically where that tree would possibly be uh, this one here it was at a paint party and I didn't put in usually I put in some sort of hill or something right here I didn't do that for this one this is maybe up on a hill and all you do is see the sunset in the background so what I've done okay so what I've done here um, is I started out with just pencil lines and I don't know for sure if you can even see the pencil lines I just started did up a, a few little pencil lines kind of where is this hill going to be in the background where's this tree going to be um, you know the limbs are going to come down like this and the thing about it is is <clears throat> when you do it in with pencil you're going to cover all that up when you paint it um, so I just did real real lightly anytime you draw with a pencil on a canvas you got to go super super light um, otherwise you have these light colors here and I can see the pencil line you may not be able to but I can see the pencil line in here which means that I'm gonna have to go back over it with another coat of paint so I don't see that pencil line I don't want to see my pencil lines you know sometimes art is really cool when you can see the pencil lines and not see the pencil lines but for this painting I don't want to see the pencil lines on this painting so what I did was I started out with white in the middle I have on my palette I have some browns this is from another painting I thought oh my gosh I'll just go ahead and get started on this one um, I have yellow I have this like yellow okra ochre I don't think it has that I don't even know how to say it yellow ochre is that what this is let's see what is it called oh this is called Turner's yellow and it's like a yellow ochre it's it's um, not the bright yellow it's kind of a muted a muddy kind of yellow but that's where I got this color right here which I really like I like you know the combination of all that is just really pretty now I'm not a crazy orange person um, I don't really like orange that much but I did put some orange in there and I added the orange with the yellow and the white to come up with these colors right here basically I'm just getting my paintbrush and I am picking up color uh, maybe it's yellow maybe it's it has a little bit of orange not a lot of just a little bit of each and then I'm just kind of swishing it around maybe that was too much white and I want to go back and add a little more color to it so you just pick up a little bit of the of the paint and put it right on top and mix it right here on your on your painting and like I said I'm not real crazy about orange but I am going to add a little bit of orange to this painting because this is a fall painting. This is going to be fall trees. I'm doing a paint party um, at a couple of different places and they decided they didn't want to do a pumpkin this year. So we're trying to come up with something that is, you know, fall-ish, which is a, I'm just going to do this fall tree. And um, that's that's kind of the direction we're going for this paint party that I'm working on. And kind of going in here. And the colors here, I've really got too much white in that. I, I like these colors here better because it do, they don't have as much white in them. Sometimes I need to go back in, dip into my water just to kind of smear this around, blend it around. Um, so I can blend these colors right. And I really like 
what's going on here better than over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my palette. I'm going to get some more orange and more pure yellow. So it's a little more brilliant color over here. A little less white mix with whatever I've got there. Now, what I'm doing next is I'm going to go back into my orange. I am going to add a little more orange to this because my next thing is I think it would be really pretty to not have just a lot of orange. I'm thinking I'm going to go in and have maybe maroon. I think I'm going to get my red out. I'm going to start adding some red to this orange and do a mar all the outside of it more of a maroon um, color instead of, uh, you know, and maybe I'll add a little brown. I don't, I don't know. Do I want brown in it? I don't know how much brown I want. I mean, it is fall. Um, maybe I'll put some more brown down here. <clears throat> Bring the brown in down here. Brown and some orange. I think I really want to have more maroon because I'm just not much of an orange person. So, see, this is getting really, not really the direction I want to go. So I'm going to get out my red and um, put some maroon on here. 